Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex from Casuals and today we're going to be playing Robocraft. So it has been a while since I actually made a video. I uh, might be a little bit rusty. Um, so basically this game is a uh, kind of a voxel game where you build your own vehicle to go to war and 8 versus 8 PvP. You have objective maps, TDM and stuff like that. Um, the environment is going to be normally like normal environment but your vehicles are all like blocks like Minecraft and Creativeverse and other games like that. So uh, for this game it's actually pretty fun. Uh, team game strategy, uh, a lot of strategy involved and builds and stuff like that. You have a lot of possibilities to build your very customizable vehicle. Uh, it, you can you have a huge tech tree that I'll show you very briefly. Um, but basically you can unlock like different type of wheels, different type of tank tracks, hover blades, uh, thrusters, uh, helicopter rotor blades and stuff like that, walker legs. And then you have different type of weapons like SMG, plasma guns, rail guns, uh, nano just nanotech uh, stuff to heal and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, there's also the, the jammers and the radars and everything. So we're going to go ahead and start building our, uh, a very basic uh, vehicle. Uh, that's going to be tier 1. The game is uh, separated between tier 1 and tier 10 and then there's TX1 which is like megabots they're called. Um, we're going to go into that a bit more later. Uh, right now we're going to build a very basic uh, robot uh, vehicle so uh, let's get to it. So as you can see on the bottom left there's a like there's a number one with a blue line. This basically lets you shows you like that you are still within the uh, tier 1 bracket and as you put more guns and better stuff on your vehicle it's actually gonna change tier so uh, we're gonna go with the pretty simple vehicle that's gonna be somewhat efficient um, and as you progress like tier 1 is not gonna be very complex you won't have any uh, shields on your vehicle you won't have uh, you'll have basically guns wheels and um, armor I guess so uh, when you build, you can actually press X to uh, build symmetrically. So that's pretty pretty nice. Um, I'm actually not too sure of the design I want to go with for this uh, vehicle. Uh, one thing I always like to do to this is specifically efficient in when you're battling other players is very covering the pilot as much as possible. Um, just because if your pilot dies, like you're basically your weapon, your your vehicle is going to be destroyed. So I'm not going to armor him too much, but um, just like a front layer at least uh, to pr like protect him a little bit from... Eventually rail guns can be a bit more problematic, but uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, how many wheels do we want? Uh, usually six to eight wheels is a decent idea because... You have different type of wheel. You have turning wheels, and you have wheels that uh, just go straight. Um, usually, the you don't want any turning wheels in the middle. You want them in the in the very front to have a better stability and movement and accuracy. So we're gonna go with the steering wheels first, and we're gonna put two of them, or do we want three? There's actually room for three. Let's go with lots of wheel for this thing, I guess. But keep in mind, oh, this is problematic. Um, whatever, we can just remove these for now. Keep in mind that the more wheel you have, the higher your. Um, actually, that might be a bit too many wheels, <laughs> because your uh, bracket thing tier is increasing as well. So we're gonna go ahead with four, uh, four on each side, so a total of eight wheels. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so. What I like to do usually on more complex vehicle is just build the exoskeleton of the vehicle and then you fill whatever blocks that you think you need to fill. Um, you can also decide to protect your wheels and stuff or just add extra platforms for additional guns. Um, I'm actually not too sure of the... Uh, as you progress your weapons will uh, take more room on your vehicles. So. Okay, so I still need two blocks of radius for these ones. So it would be fine to put it like this, kind of. And and while you're in combat, like it's very important to 
uh, aim strategically at the enemy vehicles. Like, if his guns are, if he has very few guns, and you might want to target these first. Uh, if he's trying to run away, you might want to target his wheels and stuff like that. So, it's it's interesting how you can actually very customize a lot your vehicles. Um, all right, this is actually pretty. Tier one is very easy to build because you have very little restriction uh, as to where you can position your, uh, your 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 guns and stuff like that, and you don't have any shields yet, so it really doesn't matter if. Um, let's see, it really doesn't matter that, that much if your guns are like. Uh, anyway really because shields eventually you can block your shooting uh, range your, your shooting side so you have to be careful how you position them um, this like I said this is gonna be ultra basic like don't expect anything super ultra fancy um, it's gonna be like a, some kind of vehicle that can kill but that is I don't know I'm trying to think of a interesting design but at the same time, we're so limited early on, but the game is honestly really, really great, and it's even better if you play with friends. Um, especially that objective mode, it's my favorite so far. I'll show you, I'll also show you a little bit of a match right after this. Um, Alright, although this won't be as efficient, and also you have to be careful of the weight balance that you put. Like this actually might hinder um, how my vehicle moves. Oh boy. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's kind of ugly. Alright, we're gonna go like this. Um, gun wise, we can actually add a bit more guns, uh, hardware, front mount. But actually, like, if you notice at the bottom, we're still pretty far from tier 2, so I might actually try to put some tier 2 guns. Can I? Yes, I can. Oh shit, no I can't. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to ditch the tier 2 guns right now, because it's going to bump me to tier 2 automatically. I know there was a balance patch very recently on uh, on that to avoid, the, uh, to uh, basically to balance a bit more the tiers to make sure that people don't use like higher tier guns on uh, other stuff. So. Even though you have a shit ton of guns, it might affect your firing speed a little bit, and also when people start destroying your guns, you won't be impacted as much. But um, it's still uh, like you will you won't like fire like all the guns at the same time nonstop. Like it's still like some sort of rotation, so it's still it remains balanced. Um, so we're just gonna add a few more uh, like this. And I think we're pretty much done. Like, I won't have too many guns. Um, what else can we put? Uh, tier one movement-wise, we don't really have anything. I guess we could put thrusters. Uh, these are just gonna affect the acceleration of the vehicles. And um, hmm. all right, so the vehicle is gonna have better acceleration. Oh, this is not very well covered, but. In tier one, there will be no air um, units. Yeah, I'm too lazy to remove these. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be like this. <laughs> it's it's kind of silly, but uh, it's tier one, so no one cares. Um, all right. So, <laughs> what else? This is all high tier, and basically these are lighter blocks. These are heavier blocks. Um, but they're the same, they have the same HPs, it's just like for balancing purposes and stuff like that, uh, in terms of weight on your vehicle, and like if you put a shit ton of weight behind and you only have wheels behind, well your, your buggy is going to fucking lift and you're not going to be able to have very good control. So these were the shields I was talking about, you unlock them at tier 2. I don't think I can put one now. Um, I just want to test if I could put them somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna bump me to tier two. So, uh, eventually, like, there's gonna be, I'm trying, I will probably most likely do a series of these videos of, I'll try to cover every tier, uh, do a, build a vehicle real quick with you guys uh, on, from tier one to tier 10, well, and I'll and then I'll do a Megabot, and I'll try also to do, do a match with them. Um, 
matches can be pretty lengthy, so they might be in a different video. Uh, I'll check that out eventually. So before we end this, uh, we're just going to put a uh, radar over here. And do we have a radar jammer at this point? Uh, we don't. T3. Okay, so we have some cosmetic that we can put. Um, we're just going to put a robo craft flag somewhere. Uh, don't really have that much room here. Hmm. All right, what we're going to do is add a few blocks just so that we can have this flag. It's important. So, uh, and it's also, it's important when you place your blocks and your guns and everything that you try not to uh, hinder your uh, weapon. So if you need to fire backwards, like right now, some guns might be slightly blocked. Uh, it, it won't be an issue for T1 or like even to T5 or whatever. But later on, it's quite important to optimize your uh, your design in order to be as successful and stuff. So uh, I'm not too sure about wheels though. There's a bit of more weight in the back than in the front, I think. So uh, we're actually gonna. Is that ugly? It is. A... Well, I mean, it's ugly either way, so it doesn't matter, really matter. But um, I guess we're gonna do had a little bit more of padding here. These guns are kind of problematic, but whatever. I mean, okay, we're nearing T2, so we're pretty much almost done here. Um, I guess I can add additional thrusters. Although, I'm not exactly sure how many thrusters I can benefit from. Um, there is, there has to be a, some sort of limit. Um, but we're still going to add, like, uh, two more thrusters. Yeah. So, yeah, we're very, very close to Tier 2, so we can go do a match with this. Um... So yeah, I actually used the light chases cube. Uh, it's very basic. I should have used these since they have the double DHPs. But at the same time, it's not going to be as. F I want to use fair, but tier one is very basic. Like you're going to go rank up from tier one to tier uh, four or five very quickly. So, so uh, we're going to go. Actually, we're going to give a name to this thing. Um, how should we call this though? All right, let's go in the garage, and we're going to call this. The oh man, I have no idea. Um, Noob destroyer. All right, let's go with that. So, uh, <laughs> so let's go to a game. All right, so uh, battle arena. All right, so we got a game. Uh, you can see here there's only one premium uh, member so I give other people plus five percent extra uh, reward for everyone and this uh, multiplies by the amount of premium members so that's cool but right now there's I'm the only one so it's a very small bonus for everyone including myself well myself is bigger but because I am the premium user but you get it you get it battle for valley and uh, so for this uh, oh I might have oh boy this was a mistake. <laughs> mistakes were made mistakes were made so before going to battle with your vehicle you always need to <laughs> to go in um, practice mode and this was a major mistake here because my mobility my maneuvering is um, very hard to control but uh, either way for this um, mode you have three different towers like this one that appears purple or pink whatever um, on the map and as you control that you will gain uh, bonuses to your team. The first tower that you own will give a bubble around your base protecting it from uh, people that are outside so they can't go through it but uh, they cannot fire through it and you can and while you're inside the bubble you will repair your vehicle. So it's very important. Also the bottom left uh, as I fire these blocks you can see little blue numbers uh, that's basically my overclocking level and as you level up you will uh, become stronger for this match only. Um, and uh, the maximum is overclocking level 13. So as you level up, it's going to affect every type of blocks on you. Like it's going to affect your guns, your boosters, your top fusion your tower wheels, everything. Uh, right now, my vehicle, it was a big mistake. I really should have went to practice. Um, I, I'm missing a set of wheel 
somewhere. So that's why I have like very, <laughs> very little control on this vehicle right now. And the guy behind me must be like, oh man, this guy is cool, he's drifting and shit. Yeah, no, it's not cool at all. Like, I'm having major issues. Oh my god. So, um, yeah. So, as you can see on the bottom right, we have a minimap. Uh, we control the bottom. God damn it. <laughs> we control. Oh, he has a cool vehicle. Uh, we control the uh, bottom tower. They control the top right bottom uh, tower. And we're gonna try and control this one. They should actually went for this one first, as if it is the tower that's the closest to their base. And what you just saw was a plasma uh, weapon. It's uh, another type of weapon that's uh, usually used a lot by air vehicles. But uh, some people also use them on ground vehicles. Uh, it's pretty good, it's just, it has a more of a reload speed, like you cannot fire it as you want. Uh, personally, I like the SMG a lot, as long as you control your fire. Uh, it's great for aiming at planes uh, that are not too far, if you burst them, like very little. Like, hold, just holding the, the key down is not as efficient. And now, you can see that they have their bubbles, so going in there and fighting these guys, uh, they will regenerate HPs, uh, so it's going to be a tougher fight. But the goal is to, de to destroy their base. So, uh, trying to get them. Trying is a keyword. As you can see, look, he's referring. So, um, but, um, yeah, if he's outside like this, it's not really efficient for him. But, I mean, tier 1, expect to have a lot of new players. Also, guys like this one, oh boy, he has a lot of guns. Uh, you can try firing off the guns on his thing. Uh, lucky us, that's the only thing he has on his vehicle. And you can zoom out and kind of zoom in, I mean. Um, I'm kind of backwards here. Um, yeah, people will respawn and regenerate in here, so it's not as efficient to fight here, especially if they have uh, the bubble. Well, all the guys. And, um, but it's a uh, good XP, we're leveling up, we got to fire the, their base too. Uh, I have quite a few guns, oh shit, I'm about to die. I took some major damage. Uh, but I still got two guns firing at the base. Um, I was trying to see... Uh, and if you have only one or two guns, like you can try and burst like small shot and fire their guns at least. That's gonna reduce their DPS and maybe you're gonna live a bit longer or help a teammate. So uh, I'm about to die in a few seconds here, most likely. Like the, you have his left gun, no he doesn't. Oh, this guy has a lot of guns. Alright, um... It's about time that I die, so it would be nice so I can come back with a better weapon. Uh, and meanwhile, people, while you're pressuring their base, I mean, people on your team could try to get their tower. Like, we have one guy over there. Your reactor is that should attack. get their tower within a few... Uh, oh, we have a guy in our base too. So... I'm just gonna try and kill him real quick. Well, even though I can't really reactor is under attack. Um, oh, he did actually quite a bit of damage. He must have not, must not have been the only one here. Alright, this mobility thing though is very hindering. Uh, it's very hard to... Uh... <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm, you guys don't feel it because you're looking at it, but it's actually very hard to drive right now. It's very unstable. Uh, but it was my mistake. Uh, probably uh, too much weight and not very well uh, separated or whatever. And only... Uh, I have two steering wheels and only one... Uh, two, a pair of... Uh, wait, four steering wheels, I mean. And a pair of uh, normal wheels that only go forward. Oh, this guy's taking forever to destroy that thing. Um, and if you ever flip, which I hope... Oh, shit. Oh, nice. But if you ever flip, you can press on the F key and it's gonna flip you back. Oh, I get it. Alright, so now we have all three towers, as you can see on the map. They no longer have their dome of regeneration above their base protecting it. So, it's perfect for us to assault them. They will not heal anymore, and... And, uh, yeah, it would be easier to get far from further away. I just realized that, I just remembered rather, that I am on ice right now, so it's even less uh, control. Unless you're using like train tracks or like Your plutonium and stuff like reactor that. Is under attack. Um, right now, please, please. Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem. 
Your protonium so reactor is now I guess attack. it's a good thing though that I made this mistake because although it's a novice mistake, at the same time it shows how important it is to have um, very good maneuver is under attack. like movement maneuverability. Uh, my English is not too good sometimes, but yeah, basically you get it. So it's very important. And uh, we're about to win. Reactor is under attack. As you can see on the top screen, uh, middle top, you can see their health bar, uh, the health of their base. The enemy protonium crystal is nearly destroyed. And it's destroyed. nearing the end. Uh, they have Your no shields. Your protonium reactor is under attack. Oh boy, I wish it would be there. <laughs> but um, yeah, they have no shields, and uh, protonium reactor most of their team attack. is there. I think they're also attacking our base. Wow, man, this these wheels are really problematic. Your protonium reactor is under attack. Like I barely hit the key, and it's going out of control. All right, I'll just shoot from here, or I try to. While I try to get attack. there. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Hey, got a old friend here. Your reactor is under attack. Come here. All right, I can at least help slightly my team. All right, um, this is a friendly. He has a shit ton of guns. He has no more guns. I'm actually not gonna even bother killing him. Although it would give me excuse, but I'm trying to kill people that have that are shooting at me and have guns. Oh, I'm out of gun. No, I have one. Oh, no, he has none. Plutonium reactor is under attack. This guy is important to try and snipe his shit. One gun left. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, two gun left, but one gun down. But yeah, basically, you get it. So uh, I can now respawn and try to suffer my way over there. And I do mean suffer. Alright, let's try a little burst or something. Oh, does he have the same issue as I do? Oh, that's not good. Uh, as you can see, just press the F key, so you're kind of vulnerable when you do that for like quite a few seconds. Um, I think it's like 10 or something. But um, it's one of the only ways to get back on your good side. So we still have LG Towers, which is really good for us, but really bad for them. Uh, they're not too too quick to re respond to that. Top fusion tower oh, is under well, attack. this guy going at it, but I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna try and go uh, finish the game, I guess. And well, try is a quite Your a big word here. Top fusion tower is under attack. But um, yeah, we're gonna try and uh, God damn it, we're gonna try and go finish the their base off. Come on, Your please. Top fusion tower is I'm under getting attack. used kind of to these controls, but it's still very painful. Hi, right, this guy looks AFK. Oh, this guy does not look at it. Okay, so we're gonna focus on him first. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're almost there. Almost. Oh, he has no more guns. It's like skiing, you know? Like, you slam him down the left and right and shit, and eventually you get there. Alright, so now we shoot the little red bubbles. I'm sorry, sorry, you're kinda in my way. Your protonium reactor is under attack. Alright. That's a good step. Alright. Great. Woo! Come on, come on. Alright. So we won the game. It was quite chaotic with the maneuvering issues. But we still won. Uh, tier 1 only though. So nothing super fancy. You got a scoreboard and I didn't even bother looking at it. Funny thing, I still highest damage even though I really sucked and I couldn't have major maneuvering issues. Um, score, same. Top one, so that's cool. But um, most of these guys are all new to game, so and some I think they had some levers for sure. Um, it was still a fun game, but uh, it gets much much better at higher tiers. But I hope that you guys still like the video and we'll try the game out. Uh, I'll put a you can find this game on Steam actually. Uh, it's a free to play game uh, with, that has a cash shop, but that brings um, it's more about. The cash up will give it you like uh, it's not gonna get you better than anyone, but it will make you progress faster. So that's cool. They also sell some pre-made uh, robots that are pretty cool looking. Um, I'm actually gonna show them real quick. Um, so we're gonna go in the Robo Shop, and there's four of them. There's the Rhino type of uh, tank, which is uh, pretty cool looking. And the good thing is it's going to unlock your flops, which is the amount of blocks you can put on a vehicle until that tier if you want. 
there's the eagle which is uh, the talon which is pretty cool um, I didn't try it yet but it looks pretty satisfying to use uh, there's this uh, tiger thing that looks it's a copter a chopper it's it looks pretty cool I like it a lot and then there's this uh, this walker bot um, it's walkers are nice because they can climb on mountains and shit like that and he's using rail guns which are the sniper equivalent of their guns they're very powerful but uh, it remains a uh, long to reload and very squishy but they do lots of damage and they just got buffed in the last patch along with the plasma anyway so that's what i wanted to show you guys and i hope that you enjoyed it all right guys thanks for watching this was alex from not casuals and if you liked the video make sure to leave a comment and subscribe thank you